This is my small box full of random M3 bolts and I want to get rid of that mess. But instead of spending 2 minutes sorting them manually, I will spend hundreds of hours building a device that does the job for me. Let's start. The goal is to go from this to this using a 3D printed device. The first step is to find a way to rearrange them from a chaotic pile to evenly arranged bolts. To separate them from each other I thought of two walls moving in opposite directions to pick up the bolts. One wall thick enough to hold one bolt. If they aren't aligned perfectly they fall down. To test it I printed this device. The problem is, it's not even working properly without bolts. But that's my fault, because I rushed the design. So I printed this and it works really smooth. Now let's drop some bolts in here. It's already doing a great job. They are getting separated, but they are oriented either like this or like this, which is not a problem. After leaving the separator, they will roll onto this green marked rail. This will ensure that they are always in the correct orientation. But I have to move them away from here quickly, so there is enough room for more bolts. First I tried to just tilt it, but that's not really fast and bolts have a higher chance of not landing correctly. So I went with a piston later. I think that's a good foundation to pull down. Now let's take a look at how the sorting will happen. There are existing devices that sort the bolts by length, like this one by layer look 3D, where you put a bolt on here manually. The bolt rolls down the ramp and then falls in the hole depending on its length. The problem is that you have to place the bolts here one by one. So I somehow need to get the bolts from here to the sorter. Which doesn't sound that hard, but that's where I struggled the most. My first idea was really simple. Put an angle to the rail so they slide through this guide which places them perfectly on the sorter. The first test using a short bolt worked well. Another test with a longer bolt didn't. But why? Let's pretend we have this situation. Two bolts sitting in vertical rails. One is way longer than the other one. The green dot is our center of gravity, or where the gravity will be doing most of its work. On a small bolt it's close to the channel and helps pull the bolt straight down. With our long bolt it's further away and causes the bolt to twist and jam in place. So I had to find another solution. The next idea was a slide. Bolts are coming from the rail and end up in here where they slide down this tube. On the bottom is a stop to take out their momentum so they can slowly roll out to the sorter. I didn't improve that design any further because the results were really inconsistent and the failure rate is quite high. At this point I questioned my approach, so I tried something completely different. I have seen some bolt counting devices that had a spinning plate with holes for the bolts. If it works for counting them, it should work for sorting them as well. I printed this. The bolts are sitting at the bottom and I just have to spin the plate until one of the bolts gets picked up, which honestly took a while. Then on the top it slides out too early. I could add a bolt shaped hole at the top as well, but I stopped as I wasn't happy with how long it takes to pick up just one bolt. I want to operate it with my hands without any motors, because I want it to be simple enough so everyone with a 3D printer can print it, assemble it and use it. And of course the files for the finished bolt sorting device will be available for free in the description. But if you want to support my work in future projects you can support me by becoming a Patreon. 
Here you will get exclusive updates for upcoming projects, shoutouts in my videos like seen in the intro, and depending on the project, exclusive versions of my 3D models. Patreons will also get access to the raw Fusion 360 files of this project. But back to topic. So I gave up this concept because it doesn't seem to fit my goals and is not over engineered enough. But it gave me an idea which looks like this. The bolt slides down here into that bolt head shaped cutout. Then the cylinder rotates by 90 degrees until the bolt rolls out to the sorter. Once again the only way to find out if that works is to test it. While this approach seemed ridiculous to me at first, it worked surprisingly well. I did some smaller improvements and did some tests, but more on them later. Now it's time to focus on the sorter. I designed it as a separate part so this surface can be printed with this face on the print bed. Previous tests showed me that the little layer steps were problematic. I also noticed that those gaps are too narrow, especially for longer bolts. When they roll down there is a possibility that these bolts are either too fast and roll over it or they are slightly angled and ignore the gap. So I made them a bit wider. The last thing to take care of is the container that's collecting the bolts. I want to place a removable container below the sorter from which I can pull the bolts in their desired storage containers. The first concept is unusable. It doesn't hold many bolts and I'm not sure how I'm supposed to easily get them out without mixing them up again. So I printed this. Which is as useless as the previous one but bigger. I redesigned it with removable trays and a small tray for nuts on the back. You place them in, pull up this clamp here, slide the container in and push the clamp down to lock it in position. I also added this for measurement because that place looked so empty and I had to test the multicolor of my new A1. Now that everything should be ready, we do some tests. It's important to operate the device slow, otherwise the bolt won't land well on the sorter. And it also worked for nuts. That was satisfying. We just saw one of the tests that went perfectly, but of course it's not flawless. Here are some things I discovered. Operate the device slowly. If you use it too fast, the bolts won't roll down perfectly to the sorter.
Our nuts will get pushed too far and overjump the nut container. It might take a few tries to find the perfect pace, but you quickly get used to it. Sometimes longer bolts in the hopper get stuck. Stir around to continue. Assembling it is quite easy. First use a drop of super glue to glue the sorter to the main plate and let it dry. Then place the containers in the tray. Use the slider. Place the slider pins in and place the big lifter on the front, the small lifter on the back. Make sure the inclined surfaces are oriented like shown in this picture. Push the whole thing into the base and check if it's working. Now slide in the clamp. Once the main plate is dry, take the rotator, put the two rotator pins on the side and place it onto the main plate. Secure them with the rotator lids. Snap the main plate onto the base and make sure the pin from the bottom slider goes into this rail of the rotator. Take the top slider, push in the little pin into the hole of the main plate and then snap it to the bottom slider. Add the handle which I printed with some fuzzy skin. Slide in the tray and lock in the position of the tray by pushing the clamp back down. Now you are ready to go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe for more over engineer projects. And I'll see you in the next one.